Yes, brother. Your name, your profession, and your question. Good evening, brother Zakir. My name is Phil Jones. I'm an SS graduate. I want to accept Islam, and I don't know which sex I should go. Because in Ghana here, there is Sunni Shia and Tijaniya. Part of them, they celebrate the birth of Prophet Muhammad, and part of them, too, they say is haram. But I don't know which says I should go. Please help me. Brother said that he wants to accept Islam, but he wants to know which sex should he follow. Brother, you should become a Muslim. The verse I quoted in the beginning of my talk, Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse number 64, it says, Fakul Shadu, say ye bear witness, we are Muslimun, that we are bowing the will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you become a Muslim, you have to follow the Quran and the sayings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Anyone brings anything else away from Quran and Sunnah, you don't have to follow. You have to follow Quran and say Hadith. If you ask me, what am I? I will say I'm a Muslim. Quran says in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse 103, Hold to the rope of Allah strongly. That is the glorious Quran and the Sai Hadith, and be not divided. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Anam, chapter 6, verse number 159, O Prophet, if anyone makes sex division in Islam, you have nothing to do with him. Allah will take care of his affairs on the day of judgment. Making sex in the region of Islam is haram. It is prohibited. You have to believe in Allah and believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. That's it. And read the Quran and follow the Quran. Brother, do you believe that there is one Allah? Yes, brother. Do you believe that Jesus is God? No. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah? Yes, I believe. Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? No, brother. Are you doing out of your own free will? Yes. Is anyone giving you money? No. Okay, I'll say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Please, what about the birth of Prophet Muhammad? What about the? The celebration of the birth of Prophet Muhammad. The? The celebration of the birth of ah, Prophet what Muhammad. What about the celebration of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? In the Quran, nowhere in the Quran does it say that you have to celebrate the birthday of the Prophet. There is no authentic hadith. The companions of the Prophet, the Sahaba, they never celebrated the birthday of the Prophet. Celebrating the birthday is a Western culture. It is not part of Islam. The companions of the Prophet, Hazrat Abu Bakr, Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with them all, they never celebrated the birthday. So this is an innovation. It's a bidah. It's an innovation. Any other question, brother? No, sir. That's all in my so question. So you should not celebrate the birthday of the Prophet. You should love the Prophet and follow his advice, not celebrate his birthday. Okay, okay. And you I... should be a Muslim, not belonging to any sect. Okay, okay. Now, would you like to say it in Arabic? Yes, I do. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad, that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, is the messenger and servant of Allah, and servant of Allah. Takbir, Allah. Takbir, Allah. Takbir. Allah. Takbir. Allah. Mashallah, may Allah grant you paradise. May He give you the good in this world and the year after. I would like to give you a copy of the translation of the Quran. Can you come on the stage, please? <laughs> 